Today I want to talk about an insect that's almost been forgotten, but it used to be the dominating insect in the corn belt, and that's the corn borer. With the BT events, we've pretty much forgot all about it. But now as a lot of growers grow non-BT corn, we have to think about managing that again. One of the ways is to manage the moth is to figure out when it's here. You can do that with a pheromone trap. Put the pheromone in the trap and be checking it for your flights. Probably more important is you're looking in your non-GMO fields that are above about 18 inches tall. At 18 inches or smaller, you've got natural resistance. The boars don't like it. Once it gets above 18 inches, the moth flies in here and kind of what we call a taster. If she likes what she finds, she's going to deposit eggs here, and then she's going to harbor up around that field into the grasses, and every night she's going to come back out there and uh, lay eggs in it. So they can bank up into that field and the pressure can build. So if you're the tallest non-GMO field in the neighborhood, you're going to be the place where the corn borer come. That's where a trap can help you because your neighbor may not be catching any because his corn's too small. So not only will you be paying attention for moths out in the field, you'll be looking for eggs and you'll be pulling those center whirls out, unrolling the shot hold plants to see how many live larvae are in there. And you'll need those to plug into your threshold equation.